I'm here with Amit Zorin, the chair of the art gallery. Amit, what's the process, the curation process like? Hey, so this year we changed uh, the way that the art gallery works. Uh, instead of a submission process and a jury, we changed it to a curated show. So uh, we selected 15 projects. Um, that is a showcase of integration of computational skill with traditional craft skill in, in the practice of the artist. Awesome. How long did this process take to put together all the art? <laughs> uh, almost a year or, yeah, a year. A year? Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite piece in the gallery? All of them. All of them? Uh, since we selected everything, I, I selected all what I like and I like all of them. And each of them is a bit different, so each of them is adding something a bit different to the gallery. Great. So it looks like we're standing in front of one of your pieces. Could you talk to us about it? Oh yeah, this is, this is an interesting story. This is a poster I presented in Seagraph eight years ago. And this is a poster about an idea to 3D print a guitar with a modular chambers. So each chamber connects to a different string and then you can modify in the computer the design of the chamber and then print it and have a different sound to each of the strings. I understood that I cannot build it. And I put this idea aside. However, two years ago, a luthier, a guitar maker from the Dominican Republic, Seppo Villanova, contacted me and he told me, hey, I saw this poster, I would like to build this guitar. And I said, wow, fantastic. And then he built a guitar, a traditional acoustic guitar based on similar, on the same design. And we call this project the other way around because the futuristic concept design of a 3D printed science fiction idea at the end evolved to be a traditional acoustic guitar in a crazy shape. Great, that's an amazing story. What inspired you to make this piece? I don't remember anymore, it was eight years ago. <laughs> uh, I, I think I, over then I was very excited about 3D printing in general and musical instrument. Uh, today I'm still excited about that, but I also have more, a, lot, a lot of respect to traditional practice. And this is what the show is about, about integration of computers, digital fabrication with traditional practices as musical instrument making, as painting, as jewelry making, fine art, uh, glass, ceramic practices, knife making, and so on. So Ami, can you tell us more about what you do outside of the art gallery? Yeah, when I'm not working in the art gallery, I'm assistant professor in the School for Computer Science and Engineering in the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. And in my research, I study design. And what I'm trying to learn is how computer science can benefit from the long history of craft and manual practice and cultural um, uh, design and how the field of technology in general can merge together with traditional practices. Awesome, well, it was great talking to you and me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of Seagraphs.